Hi everyone and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is September 1st already. It's Tuesday. Um, so I wanted to let you know what I accomplished on the last day of August. So I did finish reading The Hummingbird Dagger and yes, I know I just put up a post on Instagram. Um, I enjoyed this. It was good. It was a three star, but it was very predictable. I was able to figure out everything that was happening. Um, yeah, basically everything that happened or everything that was supposed to be happening to this girl that had the accident in the carriage ride. But that's okay because it was still a good book. Um, yeah. I really do love this cover though. I know, covers are not everything in a book, right? Most, but not everything. I am starting my buddy read of A Court of Wings and Ruin with Emily over at Noble Novels. Today, um, I have started reading a little bit. Um, I have to read 50 pages today, and um, I better get going, because, yeah. Yeah, it's hefty. It's, wow. Yeah. I just started it. Uh, it's not a good time to get behind on a book. Um, but today's the first day, so 50 pages should be able to, I should be able to do that, right? You would think I would be able to do that? But anyway, looking forward to this. Um, I don't have an audiobook on the go just of yet. Um, yeah. Yes, my script has, uh, restarted itself, but, um, because we're into a new month. But I haven't even bothered to look because it's also saying I don't have anything downloaded. And I do. So I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go and um, can try to start reading, continue reading uh, A Court of Wings and Ruin. Um, I had a fairly good day off today. I uh, went and I was walking down by the lake and I got some exercise in and it was so nice to just sit there listen to uh, the water lapping against the shore and just the waves and everything it was calm and relaxing and it was a really nice day it was very sunny and it was actually very warm so yeah I really did have a good day I enjoyed myself I got some exercise in which is phenomenal. I need to start doing more of that. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've been doing today. Um, yeah, so not too, too much, but I'm going to go and do this. I'm going to go read this because 50 pages in is to chapter six. Yeah, so two pages in. This is a long book. How long is this book? I'm not so neat. This is 699 pages. I filmed a video today as well. I filmed my September TBR, so that's on it as well as um, capturing the devil. Wow. You know what? Even in filming that video, I was having trouble remembering which books are which in um, the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. I believe this one's Capturing the Devil, and I think it's the fourth one. I'm still not 100% sure. I'm going to look it up, but... Strange. No. Strange. Oh. Clutching my chest, I leak. Cut that out. Um, Houdini. That's the third one. See, I remembered it when I was filming. I remembered it, and I honestly don't think I even said it. Oh, my brain is going. It's fried. It's September, and I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, yeah. See Pepper right there? Yeah. 
ah, what a day. I hate when, when you're filming videos and you, you have it all lined out on what you're going to say. And then you go to film it and you, you get on to uh, something that you knew, but you didn't think about prior to, and then you mess it all up. Hey, it's me, and uh, there's nothing bad about that, because it is who I'm, I am, and uh, if I can't remember things, I can't remember things, especially people's names. But the fact that I couldn't remember the books in that series, and the third one was escaping from Houdini. Like, how did I not remember that? But anyway, <laughs> I remember it now, and hey, that's good. So I'm going to go and continue reading that massive book from uh, A Court of Wings and Ruin. And I will see you guys again soon. Hi everyone, it's Thursday, it's September 3rd, and I wanted to catch you up on uh, what I've been reading. <laughs> As you can tell, my hair is still wet. I just got out of the shower because I'm on my way to work. And I thought I'd do this before work because last night I didn't get to catch you up because I just had too many things to do once I got home. So I have read my, almost read all my pages for today on um, A Court of Wings and Ruin. Um, yes. So the gang's all back together again now, finally. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing what's going on in here. I can't say much because it's the third one and I mean, most people have read it, but just in case you haven't, I won't say anything. Lena. Okay. Then I've also been reading A Capturing the Devil. Um, enjoying this so much. Uh, I'm not that far in. I was reading it last night when I was going to bed. Um, where am I? I'm on chapter six. So not that far, but still enjoying it. Trying to figure out what's going on, what the newest thing is. Um, the murder has just occurred, so yes, that's great. Um, I did finish an audiobook yesterday, of, um, it's called Striker X, and yes, I'm going to put up, um, a little review on Goodreads about that one. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. Luna's just walking around. She knows I'm going to get going soon. Because uh, she can tell that I've taken my last tea and she wants to get some cuddles in before I go to work. Yeah. The other two are, are looking out the window. Oh, here comes Watson. Um, but that's what I've been doing. I've only been um, reading those two books. Yeah. Um, I did download a few more onto my Kindle. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that too. But, um, at the moment, but, um, all I keep saying is, but, um, but, um, uh, I need to get through those two because A Court of Wings and Ruin is a buddy read with Emily over at Novel Novels and, um, Capturing the Devil is a library book and I need to get that one done too. And they're pretty big books, so I need, excuse me, just to concentrate on those. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just concentrating on those two books and work. That's about it. So, yeah. It's yeah. Well, at least I know that this week and next week are, my shifts are consistent. They're all 12 to 6. So, that makes it very easy. Although, I have been still getting up at 3.30 in the morning. And then going back to bed because, yeah, I need more sleep. So I think I've been getting about six, six to seven hours of sleep um, this week. Because when I do the six in the morning, it's like four or five hours of sleep, which is not good. Um, but I think, not last night, but the night before, I went to bed at 9.30 at night. I fell asleep reading and I woke up at 3.30 and was basically wide awake at 3.30 in the morning, where I read for a little while and then went back to sleep. Yeah. 
that's my life. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and continue having, well, my breakfast because it's after 10. And uh, yeah, it's 10.15 and I need to leave in about 45 minutes to an hour. So I really do have to get going. But yeah, nothing else exciting is happening. We're just kind of easing into September. So looking forward to the Step Right up -athon. I can't wait to read those books. Super excited about that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And I ordered some other books. I ordered more books. Was it yesterday? I think so. Oh, boy. That's okay. I couldn't help that. They had a book that I really, really wanted and at a good deal, so I couldn't resist. And yeah, I picked up some other ones. But anyway, the life of a bookworm. We need to continually buy books. However, I need to go and uh, check out uh, uh, the charity shops, the thrift stores, because um, hopefully everybody went through all their stuff while uh, we were quarantined in COVID and maybe a lot more books will be there because the last time I went, there wasn't very much, like the shelves were, were full, but there wasn't much of uh, what I was looking for. But anyway, that's that. I hope you guys are having a great Thursday and I will see you again, hopefully tomorrow. Hi everyone, it is Friday. It is September 4th. And yes, it's been a very long day. I got called into work early today. I was supposed to work uh, 12 to 6. Um, instead, they called me early this morning and said, you know, can you come in for 9.30? And um, so, yes, I have to leave here 45 minutes to an hour earlier to make it to work on time. So, yes, I just got there. <laughs> at 9 30 and um yeah it was a long day it was very busy um, um i was supposed to be doing one aspect of the work um and they had to actually take me off and help out um, customers and stuff because we were that busy and most of it's got to do with of course uh being short staffed and also uh people calling in sick so Yes, that's why I didn't catch you up this morning because literally it was just, I had just gotten out of the shower when they had called or they called while I was in the shower and I just had to get going, which uh, is not the way I like to start my day, but that's okay. So what have I been reading? I am continuing to read uh, Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco. Um, not very, very far. I know it's due the 16th and I need to return it because I think somebody's waiting for it. So I'm on page 60. Not getting that far on there. Love it though. Love it. Um, I'm still trying to read They're massive books. These ones, my buddy read, which is a court of wings and ruin. So I'm about 200 pages through this, which is like 50 pages a day. So Yes, there's 699 pages in this book, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yes, and then I realized that I'm still trying to read the audio, no, read the audio book? No, read the e-book of Small Favor uh, by Jim Butcher on my library app, which is part of, of course, the Dresden Files. And... I have to return it in 10 days and I'm not that far along. I really find it difficult to read books on my phone. I have now, I do have the Libby, Libby app on, excuse me, on my iPad. So I'm going to charge my iPad and see if I can read it from there. Just, I mean, it's bigger, so it's going to help me out. Um, yeah, because I really need to get that one done. And they've already given given me the next book, the next audiobook in that series. And yeah, 
got to get it done. I just have to get it done. Even though I think the audiobook is part of my Step Right up -athon TBR. Hmm. To figure out uh, when that's due back. I should have time because it should be 21 days. So I should have be fine for that. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm concentrating on these two books. Well, three now. Um, but these massive ones. These massive ones. Um, first, because one's a buddy read and one has to be given back to the library. So, yeah. I really did think I'd be through um, the Dresden file book a little... Um, quicker than I am. Um, of course, I'm going to have to move my hand and, oops, sorry. I ran out of light today, so I'm, I'm using you as a vlog. Um, yeah, when is this one due back? It's due back in nine days and the other one, oh, the other one I have 18 days. That, that would be more than fine for my TBR. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. I we've been all of us have been working a lot, um, so yeah, we will see. There's a couple of people. Uh, one was on vacation. Uh, there's one that has now been on uh, put on a leave of absence, and there's a few people that keep calling in sick. So what are you gonna do? You just you you just have to do what you have to do. Even um, this weekend we have uh, a long weekend because of Labor Day and I was supposed to be off Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Well, didn't they ask me to come in on Tuesday? So I would have had finally had a long weekend because we never usually get three days off in a row because we always work Saturdays. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I need to get back to reading these books because if I don't, I'll never get through them in time at all because the readathon starts on the 14th. So these need to be going. And I can't fall behind on these massive books because if I fall behind on these massive books, I'm never going to catch up. I haven't even, haven't even set out my bullet journal for September yet because I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it or if I have enough space because even lately um the way I've been I just write them down on the page and um kind of put down what I read and then on the next page it's uh how many pages I've read a day it's not even doesn't even matter how many pages I've read a day as long as I read every day or most of the days and um I want to put down um, the separate epithon and the prompts, and that's going to take up a lot of space. So I really do have to uh, go through it and figure it out. Sorry, Pepper's getting comfortable. Um, before I put it in ink. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read for now, and then this weekend, hopefully, I can set up my bullet journal. I'm writing it right now on a piece of paper, but hopefully I can set up my bullet journal. Anyway, I hope that you're having a great Friday. If you're having a long weekend, I hope your long weekend is starting off well. If you're not having a long weekend, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish I could give you a long weekend. Um. Anyway, I will see you again, hopefully tomorrow. And hopefully I can tell you I've gotten a lot read. Okay, guys, it's Monday. I lost a complete day on Sunday. I was so exhausted. I was basically could not get anything done. Nothing done at all. I did a little bit of reading and I binge watched uh, A Midsummer Murder. That's what I did yesterday. And I basically slept off and on all day when I wasn't doing that. So it was very unproductive. 
and I forgot it was Sunday and I forgot it should have ended this vlog. So it's ending today on a Monday. Uh, it's a long weekend here, so it's a, it's a holiday. And yes, there was so many things that I didn't prepare for and I didn't, I was very unprepared this week. And now uh, my day off was supposed to be tomorrow and I have to go into work. So I'm so far very unprepared for next week, which I've got to get going on. I still haven't done my bullet journal for September. It's the 7th. I'm so far behind. But I catch up. I just, yeah. I just not haven't had the energy yesterday at all. I was... I was just tired and spent. Um, I couldn't really think very much. Uh, I was just a mess, I guess, is what um, all that I can say. I don't know. I don't even know how to articulate what how I felt yesterday. Um, and of course, when you feel like that, and you have no energy, you don't get anything done. And then you don't even get what you need in the way of food, which is going to give you energy because I, I just literally didn't have the energy to get up. Yeah. I am very sad about it because I really did want to... Um, get some stuff done. As you can tell, I've just gotten out of the shower because my hair is all wet and it's it's 12 o'clock on Monday. So this weekend has proved to be unproductive at all. Like I didn't, I, no. Okay, let's not dwell on that. Let's, let's move forward and, and get going and see what I did do this weekend. Anyway, I'm still continuing to read A Court of Mist and A Court of Wings and Ruin. Boom, <clears throat> excuse me. Why do I yeah. <clears throat> anyway, told you, brain's not working. Um, but I am. I finished my pages for today too. So I'm over 350 pages in as we're reading 50 pages a day. Um, so I think we're getting pretty close. Or actually that would be halfway through. 350 pages is halfway through. So um, starting to get going a little bit. Um, yeah, I was wondering, it took me a while to wonder if I was gonna like it. I mean, I liked it, but I was like, what's going on? I need more. So yeah. Um, I have read a little bit of Capturing the Devil. Um, I didn't read any of this yesterday because this is due back at the library on September 16th. Um, I am reading on ebook through my iPad, Small Favors by Small Favor, Small Favor by Jim Butcher, which is the ninth book in the Dresden Files, ninth, tenth, eleventh, um, something like that. Um, and that's due back soon too. I think it's due back in wow. I have a week, seven days for that one to go back. Yeah, but anyway, that is what I've been doing. I'm um, still looking forward to the readathon, uh, step right up a thon. Um, I've heard so many exciting things, and people have said that it's exciting and sounds fun because of the creepy vibe to this year. So I've got some other ideas of um, years to come, what kind of themes we would like for our uh, carnival type theme uh, readathon. So I hope um, everybody will enjoy them. Um, but anyway, that's what I've been doing. Not much. I've got so many other things to do too, right? Uh, okay. So right now, I think also I don't have an audiobook on the go, which is not like me. I usually do have an audiobook on the go. So if I had an audiobook, I probably would have gotten up and done, excuse me, some of my work that I need to do here in the house. Um, yeah, I still have to film some videos too. Oh my goodness. Yeah. 
my organizational skill right now? Nothing. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm going to, maybe I'll go see if I can get an audiobook going and then I'll like uh, clean up my kitchen and um, clean up around here and see if I can even get the vacuum out because the vacuum wasn't really working properly. So yeah, I need to make sure that that gets going so that I can clean up around here and get these cats under control. Now, if I could get them to stop shedding, that would be even better, but that's not going to happen. Anyway, they're playing right there. If you hear the noise in the background, <laughs> uh, Watson and Luna are just having some fun together. And I think Pepper's over there sleeping or lying down because she's not behind me. Anyway, I hope you guys had an amazing week. My week has been up and down, but um, still, I got some reading done, which is great. Um, I hope you guys are reading an amazing book, and I will see you again next week.